This is one of the very frequent doubts asked by the students if cosec theta minus sin theta is equal to a cube and sec theta minus cos theta is equal to b cube. Find the value of a squared b squared into bracket a squared plus b squared. Now this particular question also can be asked as prove that a squared b squared into bracket a squared plus b squared equal to and they'll give you a value. Whether they give you a proof question or evaluate question, we have to take the given data and we have to now write it in terms of cos and sine. So cosec is 1 upon sine theta minus sine theta is equal to a cube. So if you take the LCM, you will have 1 minus sine into sine is sine square theta is equal to a cube. Now we know 1 minus sine square theta is cos square theta. So we will write cos square theta upon sine theta is equal to a cube. Alright, now if we have to find the value of a squared b squared into bracket a square plus b squared, we must know how much is the value of a. So if I have a cube equal to this, therefore my a will be, by taking the cube root on both sides, we will have cos squared theta upon sine theta bracket to the power 1 upon 3. Okay, which means therefore a is cos to the power 2 upon 3 theta upon sine to the power 1 upon 3 theta. All right. Now, let us come to the second part where we have b cube. We have sec is 1 upon cos theta minus cos theta is equal to b cube. And so, we will have cos theta as the LCM and we will have in the numerator 1 minus cos square theta which is b cube, but 1 minus cos square theta is sin square theta upon cos theta is equal to b cube. And therefore, our b will be taking the cube roots. Now, I'll write directly sin to the power 2 third theta upon cos to the power 1 third theta. Got that? All right. Now, we have to find the value of this. So, so we have to now find the value of a squared b squared into bracket a squared plus b squared. So what is our value of a? This. So we will write this as it is and a squared. So we will write square here. b is the value here. So we write this and we write square here. And then in the box bracket, we will write a as this and square plus b as this and square of it and then we close the box bracket. Got that? Now all we have to do is simplify it. So you will see here cos to the power 2 third theta and bracket to the power 2. So it will be like a to the power m bracket to the power n becomes a to the power m into n. So same thing we will do here cos to the power 2 third multiplied by 2 theta divided by sine to the power 1 third multiplied by 2. Can you see that? And we write this theta. Be very careful that you write theta everywhere. Now sine to the power 2 third will be multiplied by 2 by the laws of exponents and we write this theta as it is. Then cos 1 third into 2. So we multiply here and we write theta here. Now inside this bracket, we will have again the square of this. So now we should be able to multiply this in our mind. So cos to the power 2 third into 2 becomes cos to the power 4 upon 3 theta. And sine to the power 1 third into 2 means 2 third theta. Plus this also will have this power multiplying here. So it becomes sine to the power 2 third into 2 means 4 upon 3 theta and the denominator will be cos to the power 1 third into 2 that is cos to the power 2 third theta. Now we will write this as cos to the power 4 upon 3 theta upon sine to the power this will be 2 upon 3 theta. This will be sine to the power 4 upon 3 theta cos to the power 2 upon 3 theta and into bracket here we will have to take the LCM because these fractions are added. Can you see that? 
yeah so the lcm will be this multiplied by this so we write it just the same way sine to the power 2 third theta into cos to the power 2 third theta this into this and then this into this we will have to multiply so if i have a to the power m multiplied by a to the power n it becomes a to the power m plus n so this power and this power will get added so it becomes cos to the power 4 upon 3 plus 2 upon 3 plus here these two will get multiplied so you will see this two third and this four third will get added up so it will become sine to the power two third plus four upon three theta and denominator we have written as it is now let us see what happens here this is cos to the power four upon three and this is cos so the division over here means we will have to subtract the powers or subtract the exponents so it becomes cos to the power 4 upon 3 minus 2 upon 3 and here sine to the power 4 upon 3 minus 2 upon 3 and inside this bracket it will be cos to the power 4 upon 3 plus 2 upon 3 means 6 upon 3 simple addition here and this also sign becomes here to the power 6 upon 3 theta can you see that and denominator we write as it is now in the next step we will write cos to the power 4 upon 3 minus 2 upon 3 means 2 upon 3 into sine to the power 4 upon 3 minus 2 upon 3 means 2 upon 3 and here you will see cos to the power 6 upon 3 3 ones and 3 two so this becomes cos square theta and this also becomes sine square theta and the denominator remains as it is now you will see this is cos to the power 2 third theta will get cancelled with this cos to the power 2 third and cos to the power 2 third theta and here sine to the power 2 third and sine to the power 2 third they will get cancelled. What we will have is cos square theta plus sine square theta but we already know that cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to 1 and so we have the value of this as 1. So your question could have been prove that a squared b squared into bracket a squared plus b squared is equal to 1. Then all you have to do is just get your a and b values like how we got earlier substitute and just simplify. So I hope you have understood this particular question. I know many of you are preparing for the exam. So all the best for the exams and thank you for watching.